Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana and I make videos on art, mindset, and starting a new business. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. So seeing as though I walked away from a six-figure job straight out of college, some of you probably think that I chose the wrong major. And part of me would agree. However, I don't regret studying computer science, and here's why. So because I studied computer science, that led me to where I am now, the outcome that I have now. And so while other paths that I would have followed probably could have led me to being as happy, if not happier, the outcome would have been completely different. And I think I'm at a point now where I'm satisfied and I accept the outcome and I'm just happy with it. So that's why I wouldn't change it. However, there are definitely a few things that I wish I would have realized earlier on in my college career that would have honestly just saved me a bunch of trouble and confusion that like no one should go through but you live and you learn. So when I first entered college, I was just super lost and confused. There were so many areas that I liked. However, my main passions and hobbies were things that generally are more difficult to make a living out of. So I thought I needed to do something more technical. So in comes computer science and I followed that. Computer science was something I had um, no background in and I thought it would merge some of my passions, but eh, it wasn't exactly what I thought it would be. Anyway, what I wanted to say is this new thought process I have now that I wish I could have told former Tatiana is stuff that I think is useful not just for undergrads but also for people looking to apply to grad school or people who are looking for a new job or who are just trying to figure out what their next step should be. So first things first, you'll hear this over and over again, but it's basically to study something that you enjoy. Now this doesn't have to be your main passion, the one thing that you love entirely, but it just has to be something that you're not indifferent towards and that you at least enjoy it a little bit because this is gonna be your main motivating force to keep moving forward and to keep pushing yourself harder. Now comes the tricky part. How do you know which passion you should follow? And that's when you need to ask yourself this one question. How much do you believe in yourself? Are you someone who gets anything done no matter what obstacle comes in their way? Who no matter once you have one thing in your mind, you know you're gonna go after it until you finish it? If that's you, then following that one passion that's more on the creative side is probably something that you will be able to do because the journey is not gonna be easy. And if you have full confidence in yourself, then you know that you will accomplish it no matter what. And that's something I had to ask myself when I wanted to start my own business. I had to ask myself, do I trust myself enough to be fully committed to make this work no matter what happens in the process? That's why I chose to embark on this journey and that's why like, I feel okay even though I haven't made any money yet. I know that that will come later because I'm trusting the process and I trust myself. The reason I say that you can still pursue this is because when you first enter college, you aren't aware of all the ways in which you can make money in that one sector. That is something that you learn from experience, from talking to others, and so that's how you find different ways of making that certain sector profitable. In other words, if you like writing, for instance, instead of just being like a traditional freelance writer, you'll learn that you can establish like a publishing agency. You can start publishing Kindle books on Amazon, or you could do copy for an advertising agency. So because of this, there are many different routes of making money, and that's something you'll learn along the way, but you have to be committed. Now, a quick disclaimer, a lot of these tips are specifically for passions or interests that are generally thought as being more difficult to make a living off of. So if you're naturally inclined and curious about medicine or engineering, honestly, you're good to go because there's definitely a place for you in, in the corporate world. <laughs> So now let's say you don't have that confidence in yourself or you're not ready to fully commit. Don't worry, no one's denying your passions if that's you, but you wanna start asking yourself different questions. So instead of focusing on that one specific passion, instead focus on how can you make it more practical. In other words, if you really like art, instead of studying sculpture or traditional 2D art, then consider studying graphic design or consider studying animation. These are two fields in which there are a lot of positions in the corporate world where you can still make great money from. You don't have to be broke. And the best part about it is that also it requires a lot less effort than having to build everything yourself. There's still gonna be competition, but it won't be as bad. Now moving forward, I'd say the best option is to actually do a mix of the two. So say you have a certain skill or passion you'd like to pursue, and Instead of that being your main focus, focus on the strategy instead of the skill. So what I mean by that is, okay, yeah, let's say you like art, do that as your minor, do graphic design as your minor. And as your major, you know, take business classes, major in marketing, because you know, as a graphic designer, if you're gonna be a freelancer 
or even just in regular graphic design, that's gonna be super helpful because now you have the skills to learn how to market yourself, how to create a brand for yourself. Not only that, but when you get clients, now you know how to create designs that will capture their customer's attention because you know what sells. So these are specific skills that are gonna be super helpful. For example, if you're planning on going down the entrepreneurship route, you know, whatever your company's gonna be about, that could be um, a minor if you want, and then have your major be in finance, for instance. Like, finance is not an area that I enjoy. There's a lot to learn, it's kind of tricky. So if I could have learned that in school, it would have made my life so much easier. Having this broader understanding of how business works is gonna be super helpful, no matter whether you're starting your own business or if you're going into the corporate world because it still helps you understand how the corporate ladder works. So you have nothing to lose there and it's only gonna help you in broadening your skill set. Another thing is you just never know where you're gonna end up. I mean, when I was in college, I took an entrepreneurship class just so that I could get out of these other computer science classes I had to take. And so I didn't take it very seriously. I had no interest at the time of starting my own business. So eh, I just kind of like half paid attention. And now I wish that I had paid way more attention because look at me now. Obviously I have my own business now and, and things are different. So you just never know what's gonna happen. The last thing I wish I would have thought through is pertaining to internships. So when you go for an internship, go for a role that you're going to enjoy. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to like the company right off the bat. I think especially as you're trying to get that first internship, it's kind of difficult and you kind of have to take whatever you can get. In other words, my first internship as a freshman was in a defense company. I knew I wasn't gonna like defense, you know, but I still took it because I thought it would help me get a bigger and better internship in the future. And I was right. But where I messed up was I chose a role as a software engineer. And I mean, I don't blame myself because at the time I really didn't know that I wasn't gonna like that. But looking at it now, like I should have gone something more design based because what happened after that is after that software engineer role, I got a new internship at a different company, but again, it was as a software engineer. So here I was pigeonholing myself into that one role that I no longer liked. So it made it really difficult when I would go to interviews for uh, design based jobs um, or something more creative it made it more difficult for me to be taken seriously because my resume was just exploding with like software engineering things and not design, which is completely understandable. So just make sure you're taking on a role that you enjoy. And now if you're not even sure you want to explore, start exploring early because again, if you start focusing on just that one role that you don't like, you're going to be pigeonholed into it. And that doesn't mean that you can't change in the future. It's just going to be much, much harder. So by going after the roles that you enjoy, the hope is that eventually you'll get the job that's the right fit for you. Like I said, the company that I had a job offer from was absolutely spectacular. I have nothing bad to say about them. It was overall a wonderful experience. It just was not a good fit for me. And so that's what we're trying to avoid here. We just want you to find a position that works for you and that's gonna make you the happiest. So there are definitely a lot of skills that I missed out on in college that I could have learned then. And these are skills, you know, practical ones like finance or advertising, public relations that I've had to learn now on my own, which is fine, it's just extra time. So I definitely wish I had taken more advantage of that while in college. So again, the one thing that I'd ask myself is how confident am I to make this happen? How willing am I to fully commit to make it succeed no matter what? And then I think answering that is gonna help you decide whether you're gonna follow your passion, whether you're gonna turn that passion into something more practical, or you're gonna focus on the strategy instead of the skill. Now, I know for some of us, job security is a real issue and we have to consider that, but I really do believe that there are many ways of taking that passion or that interest and turning it into a more traditional job. Just because you aren't studying your main passion doesn't make it any less important. We obviously all have decisions to make and we have to make the one that's best for ourselves. These are just things that I think would have really helped me when I first started my college career and I hope it'll help you too. In the future, I'm really hoping to make videos with other entrepreneurs who are more established and have basically a good amount of experience in their business and just kind of bring them on to ask them questions about their experience and how they got started. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to hit the notification bell after you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.